While we usually think of giving as a virtue to be cultivated, giving is more than that. It is a law of life. We are givers and receivers, and some forms of sharing are inescapable. Taxation is one of those. It's a compulsory sharing of the public burdens so we have better highways, or we help meet the needs of the unfortunate, the underprivileged, and we pay a price for our protection. Accidents and fire and theft insurance are ways in which many people make small contributions to bear the burdens of those who suffer disasters. The contagion of diseases is a parable of our human condition. We're still trying to figure out COVID-19. The worst of us, you see, infects others, whether it be through germs or moral disorder. The best in us also has its effect upon others. We obviously share what we have and what we are, whether intentionally or purposely. Volunteer sharing is a way of multiplying happiness by dividing it. Our joy becomes scattered gladness. Each summer and fall, many of our church members share the garden harvest with each other, visitors or strangers. I hear again and again the expressions of joy as plastic bags go home or to the next town or city with sweet corn, peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, apples, zucchini, squash, or other produce. You know, it's hard to hate a person while continuing to help him or her by giving lemon bread or cakes or homemade ice cream. Sharing is available to all of us. What are we doing with the monies, the time, and energy that we possess? We can all give a proportion of what we have to make the lives of others easier and support the causes that each of us believe in. Many of us are rich in things more than money that the world needs just as much. You may be wealthy in wisdom or beauty or insight. Some of you are rich in appreciation, in joy, in trust, and in good cheer to better your world. Thus, I encourage you to share. Each of us needs to enroll in God's Share the Wealth program. Because we care, we share. Scripture teaches us that in the past, God created a world he called good. The warm sun, the sky, the moon, the brilliant stars, the drifting clouds, the towering trees, the waving grasses, bright, colorful flowers, the beasts and birds of fields and forests, the fish of lakes and streams and sea, and all the rest. God loved it all, and he pronounced it good. Then God made us, you and me, so that God might share the glories of creation with someone of his own making. John 3.16 the favorite Bible verse of us all says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He shares his best with you. Isn't God likeness this, sharing our best with others? Let us pray. Father, thank you for these encouraging words that we should be sharers. And we thank you for all those who make a difference in God's world and work and in the lives of other people, because they know the beauty of giving. May we each be encouraged by that which we have received from you and from one another. In thy name, amen.